The skies of New York have been taken over by flying people, giving Superman a run for his money. Take a look at this. You have to see it to believe it. Unbelievable sight over the Big Apple. Three men flying through the city's famous skyline, wowing those on the ground. But all is not what it seems. The men are actually six-foot foam figures with small motors attached. The hands and feet act as flaps, while the lightweight toys are remote controlled from the ground. The pilots behind the gadgets had to practice for three days to nail the various maneuvers. Well worth it, we think. The stunt was dreamed up by a viral marketing agency called Think Motto, who call themselves the special ops of advertising. And what they were promoting this time? The new movie Chronicle about teens with superpowers. Watch this. A definite marketing success, we think. The New York skyline has never looked so interesting. As we expected, Facebook has gone public. Mark Zuckerberg and co. hope to raise at least $5 billion from selling stock. The move means a few new stats have been released, like Zuckerberg's salary, around €400,000. That's set to fall to just a token $1 next year. The social network has 845 million users, 483 million of which log on every day. And last year, Facebook took in $3.7 billion in revenue. Sony, on the other hand, isn't so lucky. The Japanese company has been hit by a $2.9 billion annual loss. The news means the new CEO, who is due to take over in April, will have his work cut out for him. Sony say they want to recapture the innovative flair that led to products such as the Walkman and the PlayStation. They'll need to if they're going to keep up with competition from the likes of Apple and Samsung. Keep your kitty happy by giving it a new best friend in the form of an iPad app. The free Moggy Minder has been designed to keep your cats busy with games so they don't have to venture outdoors when they get bored. There's three games in total designed to stimulate and entertain the feline brain. And the best part is, the app doesn't need a human there to switch the games. It does it automatically. Now, check this out. A cafe controlled completely by people on the internet. It's been opened as part of the World Design Capital Helsinki 2012 Festival. The experiment allows members of the public to control design elements inside the cafe from their computers or mobile phone applications. They can change everything from the height of the chairs to what type of music is playing in the background. They can even dim the lighting if they want. And that's you up to date with everything that's buzzing today.